churches in Phoenix that are gathered here today and we want to share this message of Jesus, the one who died to save the sins of the world. So a warm welcome from all the churches in Phoenix though. crucified him and with two others one on each side Jesus in the middle Pilate wrote a sign and had it placed on the cross it read Jesus the Nazarene the king of the Jews Jesus seeing that everything had been completed so that the scripture record might also be complete then said I'm thirsty a jug of sour wine was standing by. Someone put a sponge soaked with the wine on a javelin and lifted it to his mouth. After he took the wine, Jesus said, It's done. stuff isn't it if you think about it you know the crucifixion of Christ if you've ever seen the Mel Gibson film The Passion of the Christ you'll know what I'm talking about we call this day Good Friday yes here we are we're having what accounts to be to me anyway seems to be like a public party we're celebrating we're having a good time yet this guy gets a sham trial he's tortured has an agonizing death and we're celebrating it doesn't sound right, does it? One clue is in that reading we had this morning. The last words Jesus said on the cross were, it is finished. Actually, in Greek, it boils down to just one word. And that word's a word called tetelestai. It's a word that was used in Greek marketplaces. When people decided to strike a deal in the marketplace, in those days, they didn't shake hands. Well, they probably did shake hands, but they probably didn't shake hands for that. What they did was, they said to each other this word, tetelestai. It's a done deal! It's finished! And when he finally bowed his head and died, the price was paid in full. That Jesus rose from the dead. Wow! He rose from the... You see, the point is, we don't mourn somebody who died because that man rose again three days later. He rose again, he's alive! And he doesn't want us hanging around mourning his death because he's alive and he's achieved a victory. And he's paid a price, and he wants us to celebrate that fact. Okay. 